your brain power. IQ. Does it really matter? Brought to you by BrainMagic.com. Ask yourself that question. IQ. Does it really matter? And you would probably say, well, yes, of course it does. In 1904, over 100 years ago, IQ emerged as a new approach to assessing mental ability, and the developer himself, Binet, cautioned at the time against misuse of the scale or misunderstanding of its implications. Its original purpose was simply to select from the average school those children who might benefit from being educated separately and avoid the disruption they caused in the education of the so-called intellectually normal children. It was never intended to be used as a device to rank students as to their mental ability and worth. It was never intended to be used as a device to rank students as to their mental ability and worth. For over a full century, Western cultures has become increasingly inclined to embrace various IQ measurements as strong predictors of academic success and predictors of life success in general. Breakthrough research paints a whole different picture. May I have the envelope, please? And the winner is working memory. Strong new science now tells us that the real predictor of success is working memory strength and not IQ. I repeat, working memory strength and not IQ is the best predictor of academic success and might be the single most important factor in determining general intelligence. Working memory is central to all human thought processes. It has been defined as the ability to hold information in mind while manipulating it to achieve a cognitive goal. Working memory capacity accounts for 50 to 70 percent of differences between us in raw brain power. When working memory is overloaded or distracted, information held there can be lost readily. Independent of IQ, low working memory means poor performance on arithmetic word problems and computational skills. Independent of IQ, Low working memory means poor reading skills. The person with poor working memory capacities will lose the battle to cope with growing demands at home, on the job, and in the classroom. The good news is that it is within your reach to do something about it. Whatever your age, you can actually build new brain cells. Increase your competence and confidence. Increase your working memory. Increase your fluid intelligence. Increase your focus and problem-solving ability. Working memory training targets the very specific brain function, which proves key to every conscious mental process. Your working memory frames the action for you, whether you are reading, writing, speaking, listening, solving problems playing an instrument, or just plain thinking. Your mind can grow sharper and stronger, and computer-based training programs are proving to be the way to make it happen. Now is the time to start to build up your brain reserves. Boost your working memory. Boost your focus. Boost your attention. And it is not a matter of use it or lose it. It's a matter of train it and get more of it. It is possible to increase working memory capacity from 50 to 80 percent while you increase your in fluid intelligence, that is, a composite brain capability involving processing speed, working memory, multitasking, and higher order processing, by an average of more than 40 percent. And as the progressive training continues, the gains continue. You will be eased into a graduated training which leads you on your home computer and shows you how to step ahead. It consults with you and adapts to you throughout the process. And along the way, the format ripens in style and structure, and as your abilities grow, that growth leads to competence and up you go. And as the progressive training continues, the gains continue. Please do visit the Brain Magic website. I know you will like it. Look around. And remember, the more you train, the more you gain. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.